What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one of our videos. Um, just before we get started, as you guys know, smash that subscribe button and click the little bell icon for post notifications so you guys never miss out on one of our videos like this one. So today is an exciting video. Um, so I got the idea for this video from another YouTuber named Liam Thompson. So um, I'll give uh, I'll put the link in the link of the video in the description. Um, in, uh, I'll put it in the description for you to check it out. So basically, um, as you've seen the title of the video, today we're going to be making what is called a cat chariot for a Roomba. Now, a Roomba is one of those uh, automated vacuums that vacuums your floor while you go to work all day and then you come home and your house looks um, perfectly clean. Um, and I happen to have one and it works just as it's, uh, just as it's supposed to and it's awesome. Um, but I thought to myself, all it does is it cleans the floor and it's boring. So what do you say that we use some of the idea from Liam Thompson's video and I put some of my own razzle-dazzle into it and we combine them together and we make something cool. So um, we're um, basically making a cat chariot and uh, it's for my cat. I have two cats as you guys know and also um, a chariot is what they used in the Roman times and it was pulled by horses and um, basically someone would stand up in it and they would be um, controlling the horses and uh, they'd go around a track um, like the Colosseum or other racing uh, stadiums like that and uh, it was a form of entertainment and the Romans would watch and um, it was a jolly good time. So uh, today we're going to be making the same thing but instead of it being pulled by horses it's going to be on top of the chariot and uh, instead of a person standing up it's going to be the cat laying down taking a siesta. So um, I uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's get into it. <laughs> As you guys have seen, um, we are in a new location. Um, it's kind of dark. Um, there we go. So um, as we, as you can see, uh, so here is the Roomba. So um, the Roomba is a vacuum that vacuums your floor and uh, kind of looks like the vacu a vacuum underneath, but it's a robot. Um, so it uh, it walks around like this, and it basically just moves around, um, just kind of hey. Just like that, um, but unfortunately, that's all it does. Um, so I thought we could give it some spice, um, as you as you guys have seen. So, um, like I said, we're gonna make a cover for the top. So you will need tape measure, scissors, tape or hot glue or whatever you want um, to skewer it together. You will need a lot of cardboard. I prepared this earlier, um, so uh, cardboard. I'm using a Cheerios box. This is not sponsored by Cheerios in any way, but I like their cereal and uh, happen to have an old Cheerios box in the card in the uh, recycling bin. So I thought I'd use it um, and put it to good use for this project. So, um, so uh, what we have is I've already made this. This is, I believe, uh, let me measure real quick. Okay, so this is 42 inches around, um, so that fits right on the outside of the Roomba just like that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take this, and this fits just outside the Roomba like that, and what we're going to do is we're going to have it just above, kind of like that, and we're going to use this, and we're going to cut kind of a specific square size that fits on the top, and we're going to, um, we're going to uh, make it fit and we're going to attach it so uh, it fits and then what we're going to do is we are going to basically make the top look better um, and this is basically going to be our base plate and then we're going to build everything else on the top so um, uh, let's do that. <laughs> basically made it so uh, what I did was I took the cereal box and I cut um, the ends off and then just taped them to the side like this so now it fits on the top and uh, now we basically have our, uh, our base plate and uh, from your angle it looks pretty bad but it looks pretty good like that um, so what we're probably gonna do is uh, flip it over um, and we're gonna take this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the Roomba down on it and we're gonna measure it so it looks so it's in the best way possible, just like that. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slap this on the on it just like that. And we're gonna glue it. So uh, let's do that. <laughs> attached it so we can remove the Roomba um, so it is attached now um, I just attached it with tape a little bit so now you can kind of see what we're going for here um, so I this is not permanent I am going to uh, hot glue the whole thing um, so it's more permanent but you can kind of see what I'm going for so we've got this and then once it's uh, finished obviously there will be all kinds of other fancy stuff and that kind of thing on top um, but what it'll do is when I lower it down, I just have to do that. So um, that um, that uh, only took like five minutes. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab a hot glue gun, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I made my lighting a little bit better, so uh, there's less of that like dark light, dark light thing because I'm backlit here. So we got the glue gun all heated up. Um, so now what we're gonna do is basically go everywhere that the tape isn't touching, and then afterward, once it's that's cooled off, we're gonna take off the tape and then do everything else. So uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Um, so, uh, what we've done, obviously, is, uh, I don't know if you can see there, but uh, we've hot glued around all the edges, um, and uh, now I'm going to just do a quick loop of the inside, and um, I sense another montage coming. Uh, here it goes. <laughs> Okay, so uh, there we go. Um, I did the inside as well. Um, so now we're just gonna let that uh, dry up a bit, and then that uh, should fit perfectly um, on the uh, on the um, on the Roomba. And then uh, all the uh, all the exciting stuff comes on the top. So um, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to trim off all of like these kind of sharp sharp edges. Okay, there we are. Looks a tad bit better. I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, um, ooh, that's hot. Um, okay, so we have uh, we have done this, um, and uh, now I guess I'm going to uh, start on the top. So the top is the most exciting part. So this is pretty much all. Uh, the only thing this is is it's just to um, to uh, secure. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> This is like I said. This is just the base plate. So this is just to secure um, all the stuff on the top to to, um, to the Roomba. And also another thing is that I sew um, personally. So um, what I'm pro what I'm probably gonna do is once I finish this, it might it's probably gonna look something like a box because um, cats love boxes. Um, but since it's kind of my own size, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew a custom pillow to put on the inside because cats like laying on soft things, obviously. So um, then uh, after that, it'll be complete. So. Um, Let's do that. All right, so um, I uh, I took a little bit of a break, ate dinner, um, had some chocolate, and uh, now we are back. So, um, so I got myself a new cardboard box. Uh, this one is an Amazon box, also not sponsored. So you two, please don't give me a whatever. Um, anyway, so what I did was I chopped one side of the box off, um, and then I chopped this side. And what I'm going to do is, as you can see, it was about that thin. Right there, and obviously this is bigger than that. So I wanted it to, so I, it was originally like this, and I wanted it to be more like that. And then I'm gonna add a big chunk here, and then a, another wall, and I'm gonna probably leave this side open, but do something cool with it. Then I might paint it or doing some, do something like that. But um, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut um, a few pieces about this side, um, vertical and horizontal, and then uh, glue them on and tape them on and 
slap it all together. So uh, let's do that. <laughs> But there's going to be a pillow here, which would be good. Um, so now, um, as you, uh, I don't know if you've looked at it yet, but uh, you should. So in the video that um, the other Liam made, um, basically up here um, on the sides, kind of there was like a bow shape to make it look like more, more make it look more like a chariot. So uh, we're going to do that. <laughs> see it uh, it looks kind of like Sherry does um, I'll put a picture right here um, so um, so uh, that is pretty much it now the rest of it is probably gonna be I'm probably gonna cover the whole thing in cloth um, just because in the end this stuff right here kind of looks terrible so um, tomorrow uh, we're gonna get to sewing um, and uh, we're gonna put a pillow here and cloth around it so uh, should look good so I uh, hope you enjoy all right, so we are ready to sew. I just figured, you know what, uh, instead of doing it tomorrow morning, I figured I'd do it now just because, you know, it's fun. So here's the sewing machine. Um, so uh, we're going to pick a fabric, and uh, we're going to start sewing. So uh, let's do it. Fabric cut, now we're gonna sew. sewed um so uh, i left a little pocket here so to stuff it with um like you know like pillow stuffing now they sell it at walmart unfortunately i ran out like uh like a week ago so tomorrow we're gonna go get some new stuffing and we're gonna stuff the pillow and then we're gonna see how the cats like it so all right the last step um to the decorative part um besides stuffing the pillow is that on a lot of uh, roman old roman stuff there's basically these banners that fold down with a little like um triangular uh triangular point at the bottom so um we're gonna make like two of those just to, uh you know for, like the roman old time theme so uh let's do that Um, 
obviously we have no sewing to do. Um, what we're going to do is instead we're going to hot glue them because I don't think sewing to cardboard is going to work very well. Um, so uh, what we do is, uh, hold on a sec, brother, what? please bring me the chariot. The whole thing. <laughs> um, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut little uh, slits in these like this. Thank you. Um, on both sides, just like that, if you know what I mean. Hanging banners. Um, and then, like I said, we're gonna hot glue them on, and uh, we're gonna see how they look. So uh, got more cutting to do. So let's do that. All right, the second one is done. Um, now all we gotta do is hot glue them on. So uh, let's do that. Okay, so I have not glued it yet. Um, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make pretty much the same thing as this, but for the uh, back, like a much bigger one. Um, so this is kind of what it's uh, looking like. Obviously, I'm gonna probably figure out how to cover this part somehow on both sides, and then probably the back somehow. Um, actually, the back will be covered with the with the rear banner. Um, so the whole back side will be covered too. Um, so. Uh, the bottom will be glued on the bottom, so uh, it'll look good. And um, so, really, the only thing that we have to work on is these sides. And uh, we'll uh, have to glue everything together and uh, stuff this tomorrow. And um, we'll be done. So um, let's cut the final banner and uh, let's uh, let the glue heat up. And let's <coughs> bless you, brother. Um, and let's, uh, let's glue it all together into one hom homogeneous blob. Um, and uh, so. Um, Let's do that. No. No. Move your freaking paws. No, I don't want to cut you. And uh, then I'm gonna head to bed, so let's do it. Okay, so the banners are glued on, um, and uh, tomorrow morning, or tomorrow sometime, or sometime in the next hundred years of my life, we are going to um, stuff a pillow. So, um, but yeah. Alright guys, it is a new day, and um, uh, I have decided that I'm going to spray paint it red, um, just the, like the sides, uh, because I didn't really feel like cutting more fabric because I'm pretty much tired of that um, so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go spray paint it and then um, we're gonna go get some stuffing and we're gonna stuff it and then uh, hopefully it'll be done so uh, let's do that <laughs>
stuffing, and uh, the time has come. Let's uh, stuff the pillow. stuffed and uh, let's sew it. Alright, we're done. Let's see if it works. Okay, so as you can see, that it, it works, okay? So the pillow is the perfect right size. I'm glad that my measurements work. I kind of overstuffed the pillow, but you know, cats can be extra comfortable for a little while. Okay, so basically we have all of our parts. We have the pillow, we have the chariot part, we have the, a part, the, we have the part that attaches to the Roomba, and we have the Roomba. Now, we have to basically add it all together. I'm not going to attach the pillow in any way in case I want to wash it or do something like that. So um, uh, I'm going to hot glue this to this. And then what I'm going to probably do is on the, on the front of it, it has a sensor where when it bumps into something, it moves. And then it tries to, it tries to go the other direction because it knows that there's something there. Now, unfortunately, this cover right here basically it holds it down so it constantly think it thinks it's bumping into something and it just moves in a circle. So what I'm basically going to do is just cut out a spot. I'm going to cut out the part that makes the sensor stop working. So uh, let's do that. Okay, we got these little slits cut, um, so I'm going to see if it works. Okay, it works, it works. Okay, sweet. So my plan worked. Um, I'm super glad that I made that uh, adjustment. So uh, now all I have to do is glue it together. So uh, let's do that. Okay, I have glued it all together. Um, also, it is like five days later just because, you know, videos take a really long time. Um, so like I said, I have glued all of it together. Um, the pillow is ready. Um, I glued all this together. And like I said, I cut out the part um, on the front of it underneath where, the, uh, where, where this used to continue all the way around. So I cut that out. So now that, the, uh, now that that's gone, the, uh, the Roomba does not think that it's constantly running into something. So, um, but the problem is, is that now, as you can probably see, that let's say it was sitting on the Roomba like this before. Now it's tilted. Well, it was, but it was tilted forward kind of like that. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is basically continue with this a little bit. But it used to be there, and it was kind of holding it down. So I think I'm going to put it right on the very edge so it's kind of there, just kind of keeping it supported. But it's not preventing the, um, the little uh, button, big button thing from moving forward. So um, let's uh, cut some more cardboard, and um, we're going to do that real quick. this time okay so we have the uh, the chariot finished finally um, so like I said we got the pillow sewed we have all this glued together and then on the bottom here as you can see we added this little tab and took away the rest um, so it is uh, so it's much easier 
arm for the Roomba to move around without thinking that it's got uh, that it's bumping into something. So um, I'm uh, I'm so happy that we're finally finished with this thing. And I guess the only way to uh, to see if it works is to um, to throw a cat in it. Well, not throw gently gently place down on the cat. Um, but one of the problems is that in the other guy Liam Thompson's video, he uh, his cat was super old and super super chill. My cats are relatively new cats, and they're like four years old, and they're kind of nutcases sometimes. So, uh, let's see if this works. So, uh, let's go grab a cat. Okay, we got the cat. This is Peter. Say hi. Oh, that's cute. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, um, so Peter, I'm going to need you to... No, Peter. No. Okay. Well, unfortunately, so as you guys saw, um, I'm sure you watched this entire video just to see a cat ride in a chariot. But unfortunately, Peter here and I tried Lila earlier, and neither of them have any interest in uh, in riding in it. But um, you know how, like on YouTube, you can post those stories. If he ends up wanting to ride in it, I will definitely post one of those. So um, look for the look for that. Um, but um, unfortunately. Uh, we have, uh, we have a loss here, but that's okay, because I built something that I'm very proud of, and I sewed a custom pillow, and I painted it, and I did all this stuff, so, um, <sighs> thank you for watching, and let's head to the outro. Thank you guys so very, very, very much for watching. Um, this video took literally three weeks to film. This is by far the hardest video I've ever made in my life. Um, so, and I know it's not that exciting, but uh, for in, on my point of view, it was uh, hours and hours and hours of work. Um, and originally, this was going to be a backup video, but then I just continued with it. So, um, I really hope you enjoyed. Um, so, um, like I said, uh, definitely be sure to leave a comment down below on how you liked it. This is not generally my style, super long videos, so um, I apologize. I apologize that this video is so long, but you know, I just kept having those montages and kept uh, adding things, and I was like, oh, I definitely need this, or you know, I need this, or I don't need that, but then I want to add this instead, and it just kept getting longer and longer. So hopefully, my videos won't be that long in the future. Um, but uh, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so very much for watching. Like I said, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know how you liked it, and uh, smash the like button, and uh, make sure to subscribe so you and uh, hit the bell so you never miss out on long, crazy videos like this. Even though none of them should be long. In the future like I said so um, once again thank you guys so very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one talk to you then